Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new episode of Throwback Thursday. Now the past two months or so, I've been ripping primarily Topps Chrome products, getting ready for 2022 Topps Chrome, which I'm pretty excited about. I haven't seen the checklist yet, but you're gonna have Wander Franco in there, and I'm hoping that J-Rod and Bobby Witt and Spencer Torkelson and maybe even Adley Rushman, some of the big rookies that have appeared, maybe they'll be in there. But I'm um, really looking forward to that. So I think to lead up to it, I was just like one day, let's just go ahead and do Topps Chrome all the way up until we get to that release day. And we're going to continue that trend right now. We've got 2004 Topps Chrome Series 2. I had this on my shelf. I picked this box up out in South Dakota last summer after the National uh, we went to the National last year in Chicago, then continued on on family vacation the whole way out to Wyoming. And uh, on the way out there, hit up a few card stores, and this was one of them. I believe this was from, was it Rainbow Cards? I can't remember exactly, but it was 90 bucks. I grabbed this one, and we're going to rip this one open for myself right now and see what we can find. There's one first-year autograph card in every box. So that kind of stinks because there's only one autograph. Nowadays, with the more recent years of Chrome, they they give you two autograph cards per box and five in a jumbo box. This is just a regular hobby box. So maybe we'll get a nice rookie card. We'll see. Here's the checklist. There's about 360, what, 366 cards total in the set, I think. Here's all our packs. A grand total of 20 packs with four cards per pack so 80 cards all together here's the checklist if you really like to read through and um see what we can find there we go and here's the back of it the checklist tells you everything you can find it'd be kind of cool if they would still do that i guess it's better than getting the checklist cards they used to put back in the day all even 50s 60s 70s and 80s they used to insert checklist cards into the packs themselves so we'll see what we can find. Hoping that we can find a nice autograph. Let's go ahead and see. What we... Oh, also a little bonus box topper there of a game-used relic as a little add-on. So a little bonus. I hope I can find something decent. I'm going to show you all the odds. Now, I know they're tough to read because of the foil pack, but there's the odds if you'd like to pause that and read through what that says. So we are going back now 18 years. Last week, we went back... What do we go back, like four years to 2018? Now, I decided to take these myself because I was not so sure if these were going to be sticking together or not. And I was terrified that if I sold these to my Patreon members and then all the packs stuck together, that would really, really stink. Of course, that's happened before. And uh, we'd give you a refund to make it right. But let's go ahead and see what we've got in the first little run-up here. They are pristine and not sticking whatsoever. we got Joe Pinheiro leading things off. Ryan Ludwig, our first gold card is going to be Jeremy Affeld. That is going to be numbered out of, where is it? Does it really not have a number on it? I was thinking that gold is typically out of 50, but it looks like it doesn't. And I'm disappointed about that. I like my numbered cards. It's parallel at least. All right, let's see what else we can have. Benito Santiago in the Royals uniform right there. There's Matt Norris. Got another refractor coming up. It's going to be a Jose Valverde, former closer there with the uh, Tigers and Diamondbacks and so on. Joe Randa. Todd Hundley had that uh, what, one big 40 home run season. There's Ruben Sierra, 1980s. Uh, what, what am I talking about? 1987 Topps, I said, was his rookie card. I don't even know why I started thinking about that. I guess it's because right before doing this video, I was opening a retro wax box, and I was opening a lot of packs from the 80s. So I'm still in 80s mode, 80s rookie card search mode. There's Eric Young, EY Refractor, Corey Koski. Nothing too crazy yet. There's Jose Fernandez, or Hernandez, rather. He was a strikeout machine. Ryan Dempster. I used to actually, uh, I still do it to this day. I I replicate, when I'm throwing batting practice, every now and then I do the, little, the glove waggle. So when he sets up and gets the sign, he goes like this with his glove and like, like wiggles it back and forth, kind of to try to distract the batter, I guess. And for those of you that were Red Sox fans or Cubs fans and saw Dempster pitch, you know what I'm talking about, but I'll, I'll do that every now and then. All right, so far we have not too much to talk about in terms of MLB right now. I mean, we've got the All-Star game. Hopefully you had a chance to watch what was going on there. The big news that's been percolating around has been the Juan Soto trade rumors. That's heating up and uh, does look like Juan Soto is going to be traded. So everyone's talking about potential landing spots for Juan Soto. Where is he going to go? Who do you think he's going to go to? You know what? I think the favorite right now is you're not gonna like it folks but i think the favorite might be the yankees 
the Yankees need to win. I'm, they're already the best team by far, right? But they might need that little nudge over the top, and Juan Soto would be that. Yankees haven't won the World Series since 2009, which is a long drop for them as they are so accustomed to having their championships. We got a couple gold cards here. First up, it's going to be a Vito Chiara Valladi. I have no idea who that is and have never heard of him before. Ted Lilly, I've heard of before. Another gold card. We have an X-Fractor of Damian Rolls. Again, not numbered for whatever reason. All these nice different parallels and nothing's numbered. We got a black border Larry Walker refractor who is a Hall of Famer. Jimmy Burnitz with the Rockies. We've got Scott Sullivan refractor right there. Now these were this was before the days of Mike Trout. So if you're looking for anyone that still plays from this year, well, we'd have to find Albert Pujols, but I believe he's in series one. And I guess Miguel Cabrera as well. I'm not sure which series he is in though. There's Jim Edmonds. So the big question is how many players in this set are still around? There's Hall of Famer Trevor Hoffman, Roger Clemens, who would be a Hall of Famer, but you know, not there he is. Miguel Cabrera, probably the only active player you'll still see. He's going to be active this year, and also I think he's got one more year next year, and the autograph's coming up next. So here's Miggy, a very young Miguel Cabrera right there. That is, uh, for my money, the best card of this box so far. And here is the hit. It's Kyle Sleeth. Kyle Sleeth. Now, why wouldn't he just sign right on his arm so we could see that? Like, put that blue right there. It's kind of tough to see, but that's the autograph. Good old Kyle Sleeth. So, only one autograph. So, if you miss on a box that has one autograph, your box is most likely going to stink. And that's, uh, right now, that's what we're up against here. We got a stinky box, but we're trying to save this here. We have that game used relic that's gonna be clutch. Miguel Cabrera, the best card so far. Next week, I've got 2012 Chrome. So we'll be chasing the Bryce Harpers in 2012, and also I think Mike Trout's second year, and maybe actually his first Chrome cards in there. I don't know. I'm, they're super expensive. I know that. 2012 Chrome boxes. So stay tuned next week. I'll put those on sale soon on Patreon. Here's our last little stack here. We've got David Ross, old Grandpa Rossi there. Now the Cubs manager. We've got another gold. It's going to be Sean Burroughs. And I check every single one, and none of these are numbered. Jeremy Burnett's. That picture was taken at PNC Park. Pretty cool picture right there. Carlos Beltran. May have been a Hall of Famer. Maybe still will be, but obviously his, uh, his chances have been hurt by the whole Astros cheating saga, which he was the mastermind of. Next up, we've got a presidential pastime, Chester A. Arthur. Jack Cust, and we're going to wrap this one up with Brian Roberts. So we are in our last little pack now. We've got this little game used car. Let's open it up and see what's in here and see if there's anything good. Maybe we can get on out of this throwback Thursday and into our auction, by the way, with a good walk-off here. So if you'd like to participate in our auction, we're having one tonight. All you have to do is make sure you have PayPal and be a subscriber to my channel, and you'll be able to, to bid on stuff. So let's see what we've got. It's going to be Miguel Tejada. A game used bat. Pretty cool looking card right there. Chrome Town Heroes, Miguel Tejada. There's the back of the card. So, still, after all that, I, I still think I like the Miggy card the best. So, a lot of parallels as well. Maybe I'll just toss this entire box in the auction tonight. Um, but that's all we've got for you. Might have a couple stay classy packs for you tonight as well. Some graded stuff, some rookies, autographs, relics, and all kinds of uh, baseball cards. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you a little bit in the auction. Good night, everybody.